Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control lets you and your passengers enjoy three distinct climates within the cabin. And driver, front passenger, and rear temperature controls are all within easy reach for optimal comfort. In this video, we'll show you how to use the automatic features of the system and cover frequently used manual settings. Activate the system by pressing the Auto button on either the front control panel or the rear control knob. Then adjust the temperature. The system will do the rest. The driver can set their temperature using the up or down buttons on the driver side of the control panel. Likewise, the front passenger can use the buttons on the passenger side. The rear passengers adjust their temperature using the knob on the rear armrest. If you want to synchronize all three zone temperatures to the driver side setting, press the sync button. The driver can then use their temperature controls to adjust all three zones in unison. And by the way, pressing the climate button on the control panel displays your climate settings on the AVN screen. The beauty of automatic climate control is how the system can manage all of the settings to maximize your comfort. You can set it and not have to think about it. However, there are times when you may want to manually control certain parts of the system. For example, let's say you want to adjust the volume of air that is blowing through the cabin. Simply press the fan speed control buttons on the front control panel up for more air and down for less air. Fan speed can also be controlled by the rear passenger using the fan speed control knob. Note that there is only one fan setting for all three zones, so when the fan speed is adjusted in one zone, it will change in all three zones. Let's look at another manual operation. For example, you want to change which vents the air is blowing from. To do this, use the Mode button. Each press of the Mode button selects a different setting. Face level for airflow to the upper body and face. By level for airflow to the face and floor. Floor level for airflow primarily to the floor and floor and defrost for airflow primarily to the floor and windshield. Then back to face level. Let's say the outside air is cold and you want to warm the interior as quickly as possible. By pressing the air intake control button, you can switch from outside air to recirculating inside air. The indicator light will illuminate. To return to outside air, press the button again. It's important to note the continuous operation in the recirculated air setting may allow humidity to increase inside the vehicle, which may fog the glass and obscure visibility. It may also cause drowsiness or sleepiness and loss of vehicle control. Set the air intake control to the outside or fresh air position as much as possible while driving. Now here's one more example of when you may want to use the manual control. Your windshield is fogged. Set the fan speed to the desired position and select the desired temperature. Then press the defrost button. The air conditioning will be turned on and the outside air setting will be selected automatically. In some circumstances, you may want to prevent a rear passenger from changing the climate control settings. In this case, you can deactivate the rear controls by pressing the rear lock button on the rear armrest. You can also deactivate the rear controls by using system settings in the audio, video, and navigation system. Here's how. From the home screen, select the system settings icon. Scroll down to lock RSE system and select it. A check mark will appear indicating that the system cannot be operated from the rear controls. To help you get better acquainted with these and other features on your Kia K900, always check your owner's manual for complete operating information and safety warnings.